Welcome back. They feel their lives have been totally failed by the system. They are the family of Debbie Story, a woman too scared to ask for help. Debbie suffered from mild Asperger's syndrome and nearly had her children taken into care. That led her to keep quiet when she developed back pains, fearing it would be used as an excuse to take her children away. But the pain signaled she had cancer, and last week it claimed her life. Our social affairs correspondent Helen White reports on a family's pain. Her boys were her life. She doted on them, wanted only what was best for them. So determined was Debbie's story to highlight the condition that affects Ben and Sam, she took part in this documentary. The boys have Asperger's syndrome, a condition linked to autism. But when she sought help for the family, a series of devastating events ensued. I'm very surprised it didn't tear us apart. We're family unit. Ben and Sam were unhappy at school. Debbie, who also had a mild form of Asperger's, turned to Essex Social Services for education at home. The boys are extremely bright, but Asperger's means they lack social skills. Behaviour experts say can often be mistaken for poor parenting. The family got support, but it led to an assessment that Debbie and her husband were emotionally harming the boys. To supposedly help us, they put in a report that said uh, we were intentionally or unintentionally using the children to meet our own needs. They made us both, me and Debbie both go and see psychiatrists. Ben and Sam were placed on Essex Council's Children at Risk Register, raising the prospect they could be taken into care. But the one got very, um, very aggressive. They were scared and stiff that the authority were going to take them away. Essex Council told us today we are aware that Mrs. Story was sometimes unhappy with what we were able to offer, but we worked very hard to understand and respond to the complex circumstances of the family. The threat of care proceedings was lifted, but Debbie's mum told me it was only then that Debbie revealed she'd been carrying another burden. She'd felt desperately ill but had been too scared to see a doctor in case an illness meant her sons would be taken away. She was just frightened to, to get help. By the time she'd, she'd fought and the boys had been removed from the register, it, it was, to everybody that knew her, it was too late then. Debbie was diagnosed with kidney cancer in March. She died last week, still fearing her sons would be removed. Throughout the last few hours of her life, she called both of the boys' name. Um, and I, I just kept saying to her, look, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll care for the boys, we'll look after them, please just sleep. And she still shouted no. Earlier diagnosis may not have saved Debbie, but this psychologist told me her case shows the need for better training about conditions like Asperger's. There's a huge problem with people understanding Asperger's syndrome, how it presents itself, um, how difficult the, the lives can be for children and of course for their parents. Debbie's family hope greater understanding will be her legacy. Today I don't have my daughter. And I don't want this to happen to anybody else. Helen Wright, ITV News, Essex. The tragic story of Debbie's story, whose funeral will take place tomorrow.